Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more AFR action. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today my friends. So I have something a little special in store for you today. Do you recall the last episode of AFR that we featured here on the channel? Then you would know that we did a run featuring everyone's favorite reptile, the snake. Well, we're going to kind of keep the same general theme here. Instead, this time we're looking at frogs. And you're probably wondering, wait, you can get frogs in this game? Well, kind of. And I will, of course, explain that as we go. So let's hop on into a new run. Let's check the merchant here. It's going to be the job that can kind of get us there. I just like the overall kit. I think it's one of the better jobs to kind of start a run with. So let's hop on in and let's get our perks arranged. First observation to make here, my friends. You absolutely need the swamp start, which we get right here. That's very good. You're not going to be able to get frogs at all without the swamp. So having the swamp adjacent is great. And let's check our beginning island here after we get our perks arranged. And while I'm getting these set up here, my friends, just a few housekeeping items, of course. If you are new here and enjoying the content, then please consider becoming a subscriber. Would love to have you in the community. Ultimately, I just want to thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button as well. Help a new channel grow. And again, thank you so much. So let's jump on in and check out our nice little plot of land. All right, so what do we have? We have a bunch of stone, which is great. We have a lot of trees, which is pretty typical. We have some berries, which can help our energy stay high early. In fact, we got a nice large stone node, which is great. We have some copper, which is actually important in this particular run. There's a particular reason why we want some copper. So that's actually good as well. So I think overall a pretty nice starting island except for no water tiles. However, the swamp next door generally has water. And that's going to be, of course, important because that's where the frogs are, right? So this is what we're looking at here. This is what, you know, this is the clay that we have been given to mold into a, a functional farm. And we're going to do our best here. This is going to be a little shaky. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's a lot of... What am I trying to say? There is a lot of indecision. There's a lot of unknown with this, right? But I've been ideating about this, and I think it's a build that could potentially work. So we're going to do our best here, my friends. First and foremost, though, we have $750 in the bank. Let's go ahead and spend that on... Let's get EXP boost plus one. Let's just grab it right off the bat. I think it makes a lot of sense. Maybe we can scrape up... 50 more dollars and get gifted as well just get those nice and early so they can assist with us upgrading the reason you want to get it before you even spend in energy or the reason i'm doing it i guess you shouldn't always get it but the reason i'm doing it here is because i mean we got a lot we got a full energy bar to deplete of course so we're gonna level up fast and let's start with targeting the coal and the copper and then the stone and one of the huge drivers of this particular build is going to be wood production. So I do anticipate getting some kind of tree farm, most likely. But for the first level up, we have campfire, global warming, and connections. So global warming is simply not an option. There's no revealed water tiles anyways, but I mean, that's going to completely eliminate our ability to get frogs. Don't want that. I just don't really see us going heavy on the furnace. So connections, it is. Let's go. And connections isn't all that bad. It does, you know, lower the overall rent cost, opens up the shop for you, lowers the buy prices of things. I mean, I think that there is sort of a realm where we go into the shop maybe for additional copper and maybe a few other resources too. It just really, like this build really depends on a lot of things. But ultimately, I'll tell you, we need a lot of wood. So let's continue getting wood and mine our opening stone. So let's go. All right, so now that the stock market isn't tanked, let's just check out the backpack quick. Can we sell anything to get an extra $50? Put us over the top. So we have a few berries. That'll get us close. I don't want to sell my copper. Suppose I can chop down a few more of these bushes and just sell the berries to get us over the top. Okay, here we go. And let's go ahead and get gifted. This is going to help us maximize our experience, of course. And then another one I'd be looking at here, my friends, is... What is it? Uh, it's the building one. It is Clever Hammer. It's going to be a good one, especially as we start thinking about getting build plans down in the next turn. 
So I think I'm going to target that one as well. But why don't we target the fruit tree specifically. And for our next level up, we have power. Again, global warming, man. They're just tempting me with this. Well, not tempting me, but kind of trolling me, actually, with the global warming. Uh, power is very good, but awards is also a really good one. On our next level up, we're going to have this week's rent paid for, which is going to give us a little more flexibility to simply focus on our build, which I just envision it taking some time to kind of get off the ground. I mean, you're probably curious, like, what is the plan anyways? Well, I'm going to try to put it all together here for you, my friends. And this will also give us a little more income to expand. So let's go with award, actually. Really hard to leave. Plus 50 max energy on the table, though. I'm not going to lie. But I think award, I mean, it popped up. It's there. Might as well kind of take it and see. It's going to have sort of long-term, longer-term benefits for us. In that we'll be able to put our build in place just a little sooner, I do feel. Because, of course, we have to expand before we can really do anything. So I did get the $200. Let's go ahead and get the Clever Hammer upgrade. Boom, got it. All right, so that's going to be very useful next turn when we start putting down build plans. So I want to spend the rest of my time here today. Let's get uh, tree seeds. Let's get trees. And let's, more importantly, get wood. All right, let's just try to squeeze a little more energy out, right? Got some more wood there. That's excellent. And let's go ahead and end our turn right there. All right, so today is build plan day. Of course, we're not going to build anything, so we can actually use our full energy bar to continue to just gather wood. But we're going to want to get a build plan in today, and I think it's all going to start with a tree farm. Now, ideally, you are expanded eastward into the swamp by now, but we're not. Got to get that next level up. We'll be there real soon. So that's going to be all right. I think the most important thing to get is a tree farm. That all, of course, starts with a few hives. So let's go ahead and get some hives. We have a bunch of wood. So let's make use of it. All right, so six hives go down. Let's get a scarecrow. If I can muster up the energy to get the scarecrow, let's see. Let's should be able to find the few pieces of grass required. I think we got it there. Sure did. All right, perfect. How about some sprinklers? You bet we got enough stone to... Get our basic build down here. Furnaces. It's not a huge part of the build, at least the way I envision it, but we are going to need at least some furnaces for sure. So why don't we go ahead and get like, let's plan on having like two furnaces, at least for now. That'll be all right. And then what else do we need? Well, we have a ton of wood. Why don't we go ahead and just go crazy on the bee houses? And these aren't necessarily made to or in place to support additional crops or trees. No, they are going to be in place for a special little ingredient that is pretty pivotal to putting this whole thing together. So I think that's a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and end our turn there. Tomorrow we're gonna to be building, we're gonna be leveling up, we're gonna get 3,000 in the bank, which will pay the rent and give us the flexibility to expand eastward. So let's go. All right, so we do get a side quest. A local group of mead enthusiasts is looking for new producers. Collect 15 mead to gain their favor. I mean, <laughs> we're definitely going to have honey. Max energy plus 35. We have four days to do it. 15 mead means you got to go with glass production. Yeah, I just don't see us getting there. And I don't want to lose the axe efficiency if, if we try and fail. I have been thinking about a run where we simply just accept those side quests. We accept them all. That was actually a run that was recommended by a subscriber. So I do appreciate that. If you have your own recommendations, feel free to make those. We'd love to hear from you. But I'm thinking about that run for sure. I think it would make for a pretty interesting run. 
in that we would just be kind of building along and then all of a sudden boom you get a side quest you have to change up the nature of your build it's like boom okay we're going you know mead now right in this case anyways for our next level up and we do of course secure the 3000 we have b riot so they will no longer accelerate crop growth but we will get a harvest boost for crops in highest range we're going to be planting trees so that's actually not very good for us at all tricky hook uh, we're not really fishing here per se we have magic tools at the end of the day upgrades a random tool and we have neo diet we're not doing animals either let's go with magic tools i think that's fine now there are certain tools that are better than others but this is going to give us access to just a nice and even array of upgraded tools right so let's get the bee houses built furnaces spend the rest of our time building a few of these bee houses all right so we're gonna have to finish up our building efforts in the next few turns but we can get a few tree seeds down for sure in fact do i have any no we don't have any honey yet let's check a few sell prices though so we got we have our fruits uh we have our worm beetle worm selling good sand is not going to be in the cards in this one we can get some copper in the furnace we're gonna want three units of that for sure uh, let's see what else are we going to need to smelt i could do sand for a little bit of glass just to sell for a little more financial flexibility not really going to be using glass. I think that's something that we could do. We could build a sawmill and start sawing down some wood for coal. But I don't really see us going too crazy, to be honest. Yeah, why don't we just do some glass? That's fine. And let's go ahead and end our turn right there. And we'll go into next turn here. Finish in building and then... Actually, I mean, we can just expand. Why don't we just expand right now? So this is the patch of water we're working with here. So I wish it was a little, a little larger, I'm not going to lie. But we'll see if we can make do with it. We'll see what we can do. Out of energy anyways, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Right there. All right, so we do have some fish activity. Why don't we go ahead and just grab these guys quick. Let's get the contents of everything. We do get the copper axe here. That's nice. There's a lot of wood, of course, in the jungle. So as far as like the urgency goes to get your tree farm down, right? There really isn't a huge urgency for that, given the wood on the field yet. But I see it as... It's going to become an issue for sure. So what I want to do right now is I want to collect more wood. And to do that, obviously, we can utilize the jungle. The jungle will give you a nice experience bonus as well. As you see, we're getting three experience per harvested plant. That's very nice. And why do we want wood here, my friends? Well, wood is actually the key. But first, let's figure out our level up, and then we can get into that. So we have Fragility, so this is going to reduce the number of hits needed to break destroyables. However, max energy minus 40, I don't really love that. We have Atomic Power, Storing Breakables plus 1, gives us 10 energy back. Why don't we go with Fortune? Let's go with Fortune. Why not? So the catalyst to our build here, my friends, is this Wooden Frog Trap. A source of frog pieces, kind of grotesque. Kind of terrifying, actually. But that's what we're going in on here. So not cute little frogs that hop around. No, this is more like frog pieces. So, yeah, it gets a little more brutal. It gets a little more grotesque, like I said. But that is kind of what we're in the business of here in this particular one. And we can actually help boost and support what we're doing here by building a bug totem. Now, the bug totem does cover a nice broad area right and it looks like we can get two of them in place here to fully capture this little water zone and what you actually do with the totem itself is we will put our bait 
in the totem and then the totem will distribute it to the frog traps and at a 20% clip it has a chance to not consume your bait product so that's pretty nice and ideally we want to get in production early right like we just do so let's go ahead and get this totem built and you can see your bait options there we have one particular bait option in mind and it's of course our friend the cute little bee so let's go ahead and get a few of these traps down looks like i have enough wood for about one i do want to invest in the second upgrade here of clever hammer in fact we got plenty of cash i might as well just do that right now yeah let's do that right now should have probably done that before I built the totem, but it's all right. We only need two. And now we can actually get the second totem anyways. So let's get a nice little Zen place here. Don't want to use my energy building that just yet, though. Instead, I want to get some frog traps. So let's get the frog traps. We have exactly four bees. So we're going to need two traps. That means we'll need just a bit more wood. In fact, how much wood do we need? We need a few more of these little bushes here. So let's see if we can get some down. And we can just use this honey to restore energy. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to see if we can get enough to get one more frog trap on the field. All right, we need just two more pieces of wood gonna be tight all right let's get it down it'd be great to have it down so we can begin getting frog pieces <laughs> so as you see I, I did put the bee in the totem and then the totem puts it in the frog traps right and like I said it's a 20% clip I do believe Here's a tool tip. Yeah, 20% chance that it won't use an item in the process. So that is how you can conserve your bees. Now, obviously, future state, we have this whole thing filled up, right? And that's why it'd be nice to have some more water. But I think if you can get at it early enough, it'll work for you. We'll certainly see. I feel like we got after it pretty early in, in this particular one, which is good. And like I said, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tight. It's going to be pretty tight, but we'll certainly check it out. I mean, I don't know. Usually, I'm, I'm fairly optimistic about most of the builds. This one, not so much. But that's all right. Don't really know that, I'd even, that I even really need to mess with the furnace. So let's go ahead and end our turn right there. The rent is paid. Local beekeeper is looking for people he can help. But he only wants to assist those who are knowledgeable about beekeeping. Collect 50 hunting to prove him that you are worthy. We have five days to do so. 75 wood and 50 glass. This is actually very nice. This is a quest I certainly will accept. Um, it just makes sense to do so. We're going to be getting tons of honey. In fact, if we can get a honey hoe upgrade, we can actually get more honey. And we do have our first frog pieces here, my friends. So what do we know about the frog pieces? Well, each trap is giving us six, or sorry, three of each, and we have two traps, right? And how do they sell? Well, they sell okay, not great. They sell like a pretty basic product, $40 high end for each unit, right? So I'll be monitoring these as we build our power stack throughout this. We're going to have an entire week to sort of scale this upward and maximize. So that's what I'm looking to do. And like I said, at the end of this, we're going to try to win primarily by selling frog skin and frog legs, right? So we'll see how it goes here, my friends. I thought it was a unique attempt here, a unique run, something unique to try. We've sort of exhausted all animal options. Well, who doesn't like a friendly little frog? And I kind of feel like we're going to end up having a pretty decent stack of honey as well. So we'll have to figure out what to do with that. All right, so first and foremost, let's get our existing bees in the totem. 
So, yeah, so as you can see, the totems effect took place there. So I put three bees in here. So actually, it, it took three bees to fill up the four slots. So that's nice. I kind of like the, the functionality of totems in this. And you just get a massive experience bonus fishing in the swamp. It's pretty crazy, actually. So what's going to be holding us back here, my friends? We have two bees remaining, right? We're obviously going to need wood. That's why we're planting the trees. But I think we're going to be... There's going to be this delicate balance between... There's going to be this delicate balance between frog traps and bees, right? And we don't want to go too crazy on the frog traps. We want to add them as we have the capacity to sustain them. As in, right now, we definitely currently do. Right? But we're also going to have to get a bunch more hives for more bees per turn. And then, kind of as a little side hustle there, some honey. So let's see, I'm actually going to target the jungle. You get more experience. Might as well do that first in our quest for just a bunch of wood. And actually getting more hives is going to help us complete our side quest faster, which again will reward us with bonus wood. Definitely a nice little key to this. Tools are not gaining experience. All right, so let's go ahead and end our turn right there. I do kind of want to stockpile cash. I mean, I don't really need too much for this. This is kind of a minimalistic build, right? We got the intelligence upgrades. We're not crafting anything. I mean, you could go clever hammer again, I guess, if you wanted to. Could go handy man. I think that's probably a pretty good one to get, given we're going to be building stuff a lot, right? Lots of hives. But ultimately, I want to see if we can, if we can make this happen. That's what I'm curious about. So let's go. Let's use the rest of our coal there. Just don't think I really need it. There's no ore on the field anyways. So let's go. Let's end our turn right there. These fish aren't selling well, right? Correct. All right, let's end the turn there. And then as you can see, every now and then in the swamp, you get... The appearance of your little frog friends here, right? Aren't they cute? You kind of want to just scratch them on the head, don't you? Well, what you can also do is you can also put your fishing rod directly on them and get some bonus, you know, frog product, if you will. So we will certainly be doing that, although... Okay, we have the beetle hammer. Used to build... Uh, using gives a random alchemy item. Nice. So we might as well get this totem built up here. Let's collect our honey. And thus bees as well. I've noticed you get kind of a random number of bees. So in that turn, we got four, right? So it definitely adds the need to get more hives. We just have to. That's what's currently holding us back. Hives. So let's scale upward our hive production. Let's get a few units of wood. And let's get some build plans down. Rent is paid for. Feels good. Let's just get as many as our wood supply can support. Let's get them all built, most importantly. Okay, so we got all kinds of just random alchemy stuff there. Might be a nice little little side hustle, but... In fact, we got another bee. That's nice. I guess a bee is an alchemy item. And that's what it's considered, so... We'll take the beetle hammer for sure. Looks like we have our first little crop of trees. I do want to see if we can get this hoe upgraded. Maybe we can get the honey hoe, which will give us more honey. And essentially, we can get a pretty decent supply of honey, which will give us energy as we need it. I think honey is sort of a catalyst in this that can you know, help you restore your energy levels when you need to get some work done, right? But we'll certainly see. Alright, so our hoe did level up there. Let's hope that it automatically upgrades into the honey hoe. Actually, if we do this... Yeah, let's just do that right now. Now it's got to get all the way up before it can magic tool upgrade into something else, right? So we'll actually have that locked in for a while. That's very nice. Hives give plus two honey. Very, very strong one to get. 
especially for what we're doing here. So that's very good. So let's pound down all of this honey. And let's go ahead and continue to chop down trees. We want that experience. We want to get that level up. And we need that wood. Can we get another hive? We sure can. Can we get it built? We sure can. Very nice. Are we getting poison? Yeah, we're getting poison. So if you saw my last run, you know, throw back to that. The snake run. Cichlid, let's sell it. Let's just kind of sell what's here. I mean, I'm not expecting to be a millionaire in this one here, folks. I think it's going to be really, really tight. So I'm trying to conserve my bankroll. I know oftentimes yeah, you want to spend it, right? You oftentimes just want to spend what you have for upgrades and other things, adding things to the shop, so on and so forth. But in this particular one, we're going to be tight because we're going for frog legs, right? So I'm just going to hold on to it and see if we can get there. Be interesting to see. We're going to have one whole entire week to find out. So let's go. All right, so we did get fate here, meaning we get all of these. Stock market, this bodes well. Let's put that at the very last day. Uh, mystical fertilizer, we have beginner's luck. I mean, we're going to be constantly building. Busy bees, hives give two more honey. Let's work that into day one here. Let's actually do day two. Now, why don't we go with beginner's luck on day one and focus on building add more traps add more hives of course a roll price shop price minus 10 percent each crop yields its own products uh let's do something like that fate pretty decent one i mean not the most impactful but decent in that you get all positive perks so let's go All right, first and foremost, let's continue to build our power stacks with the stock market locked in. We know when we're selling everything, right? So let's get as many of these frog pieces as we possibly can before the end of this week here and see if it can take us over the top. We did complete our goal there, so we locked in more wood, which is excellent, especially given we have beginner's luck today. That means I can spend less energy harvesting wood and more energy building. It actually just kind of worked out pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and get a few more hives. I have 27 bees. Okay, so I think I need a few more of these traps as well. I mean, honestly, the thing that might hold us back the most is just not having enough water. We're going to find out. Let's get those built, though. Let's get the hives built. And then let's kind of carefully allocate our energy between getting wood, building more hives, adding more of these frog traps in fact let's throw some bees in here it'll automatically fill them each turn for you so that's pretty nice as well alright axe did level up very nice maybe we can get a better axe that's more efficient we'll find out we have some more wood 36 more units very nice let's get down a few more of these frog traps you bet. And they build really quickly with the beetle hammer, which is also pretty nice. All right, so back to wood collection. And while I'm thinking about it, okay, we only got one additional tree seed there. What do we have? Uh, 28. Okay. Why don't we get another hive? Given we're going to get bonus hunting tomorrow. Let's get these things built up. And we are getting just random frog pieces too. That is nice. The whole uh, al alchemy tools, right? That's nice. In fact, beetle hammer, don't change. I like what you're doing here. But we're going to have just a bunch of random stuff in our inventory. I'm kind of okay with that in this one. Given our build has a pretty obvious focus right so we can actually use this honey here and what we can do is use it to just gather more trees so let's use it all 
We're selling frog pieces here, my friends, not honey. Honey be a nice little side hustle to this, but frog pieces it is. Want to get a few more of these hives? It's just a good time to get them. And how are we looking for wood? 11 units of wood. They both take 13. So maybe we can get down the stump and maybe we can get... I know these are a one tap, so let's see if we can do it. Nope, not enough energy. Do we have an orange or something? We have a fish. So let's do it one tap it. Boom. Got some poison there too. And you see that the totem fills them all up. So that's awesome. That was actually a really, really effective turn. Almost a level 6. Um, a great start to the week. We're looking at 24 and 39 units and growing. It's going to get a lot bigger here next turn. So let's go ahead and consider ending our turn here. Let's see, is anything worth selling? I suppose we can sell these apples. Butterflies, we can sell them. Rat fur could do a little better. Cichlid, Grayling, sure. Crow Feather. That's some inspiring stuff. We got the Family Goldfish. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn there. In fact, I want to get these two in the bottom corner. Alright, let's do it. Alright, another side quest. The hammer has been lying idle for a while. And you've forgotten how to wield it. Build 10 buildings to remind yourself what it's like. Plus one pickaxe efficiency... We just don't need to do it. There's no need for it, my friends. So let's go ahead and collect our frog pieces here. However grotesque that might sound, that's what we're doing. And 63 and 48 is the new sum. So very nice. We are starting to build upward. We're starting with 11 bees here. Let's get the honey and see how many we uh, net out with. All right, 85. Wow. So I don't know if like honey production has anything to do with the quantity of bees you're getting, but that is a huge bonus for us. So I think that means we can go ahead and focus on filling this lake up, right? Let's maximize. On day two here, and we get the diamond axe too. Very nice. Efficiency plus three, and it only takes two energy. Very nice for a guy with the tree farm, I tell you. So let's go ahead and get some wood for sure. Let's get a lot of it, and let's build as many wood traps as we need to. Alright, and a level up. So we get roots. 25% that a breakable won't disappear. That's a good one. Time bend. Are we realistically going to get to level 7? Probably not. Campfire, we're not really using our furnace. Neo diet, we're not doing animals. Bee riot is something that we absolutely do not want. So let's go with roots. Sure thing. That'll help these uh, trees hang around a little longer. The wood is only the most important thing, right? So let's see how many traps we can get. Okay. That's pretty good progress right there. You see roots taking effect there. Let's continue to add our traps. Very nice. Let's get them built now. Okay. And now let's add bees. Let's give a little surplus here. Let's give like a 20 surplus to each one. Okay, very nice. Now let's continue to chop down trees. Do we have any tree seeds? We do. Very nice. So we either chop down trees or we build more hives. Let's build a few more hives. Why not?
All right, looking good. Very effective turn there. Tomorrow we have Mystical Fertilizer, which doesn't really affect us. I'm more curious to see where we land with this. So let's check some pricing. Rainbow Trout selling good, so let's sell it. Uh, rat fur. I mean, frankly, we don't really need to sell anything, if I'm being honest. We have stock market, right? We're going to get to the last day, and we'll either make it or we won't. So I'm actually going to just hoard everything, and we'll see how this goes. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's go. We don't need to spend time considering which things sell and at what price. So let's go ahead and get a fresh energy bar here. We've got some tree chopping. Let's go. Might as well get this built here quick. You bet. Let's clear it out so we can get some more trees planted. You see how quickly we just farm the entire contents of both islands, right? It's actually kind of crazy. More hives, though. Let's go. And let's get a little happy with the hammer here. Some would call that hammer time. Let's go ahead and just use the rest of this honey. The honey is the vessel that keeps us propped up and chopping trees and building stuff. All right, a pretty effective turn. I'm liking where this is headed. Let's see if we can put it together. All right, so a bunch of honey. Let's see how many bees we end up with here. I'm still kind of concerned about our bees. Okay, 88 bees seems like a pretty decent number. Let's get all of our frogs as well. And we're starting to build some stacks here. Very nice. All right, so let's get a surplus again. Let's get a surplus of 30. Let's go 40. Let's go 40 and 50. I think that's fair. Perfect. All right, let's continue to chop down trees. I, I just wish we had a little bit more water to work with, you know? That'd be real nice. If we just had a bit more water, could just continue to scale this up and out. What do we have here? A wool hammer. Hammer efficiency plus four, but it costs 10 energy to use. Wow. Yikes. In fact, what does hammer efficiency mean, actually? I'm curious. Does it mean it builds it faster? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because efficiency in this game, my friends, it's... So if you have a pickaxe efficiency increase, it means your pickaxe will yield you more product per mine, right? So axe efficiency plus three on the diamond axe, we're going to get plus three wood, essentially is what that means. So given that the hammer doesn't give you resources, right? It builds things for you. Was wondering what that meant. So that is what it means. So let's use some honey. Let's get the energy bar filled back up here. I mean, why not? We're pretty much self-sustaining here. What I would prefer not to do is level up my hoe, though. Interesting that I can't... Till up this field here. But let's get these trees down. Let's continue to get that wood, of course. Got some more field space for some more trees. Should be able to get, like, one more harvest out of these things. Trees just take a very long time to grow, right? So let's get a few more of these hives. Although I don't really think we're going to be running short on bees anytime soon here. 
So that's where I just wish I had a bit larger of a body of water. But that's alright. What are you gonna do? This build isn't exactly coming together exactly as I had, you know, thought about it, but I think it's gonna be a fun and interesting one once we get to the end. So let's go. All right, a whole bunch of honey, a whole bunch of bees. But you notice we don't actually hit, we're not getting a ton of bees, right? We have a ton of hives, that's true, but it's not like we're getting hundreds of bees per turn. So if you think about this build kind of scaled upward, right? With a bunch more of these traps and totems, of course, I think the bee becomes more of a scarcity, right? It just feels like it would. get some tree seeds down though and let's just build more hives in fact we might as well literally just build as many as we possibly can why not Alright, that's gotta be uh it's gonna be a good amount of energy to get all this built, but I think we actually have the right hammer for the job. Might have been a bit wasteful on the energy restoration there, and maybe not quite. Let's arrange these more properly. Sometimes you just gotta think thumbnail here, my friends. Although this will probably be a nice little thumbnail. So how we looking? Well, we have used the rest of our wood on hives. I think I like this arrangement just a little better. A little more pleasing to the eyeballs, right? So let's do something like this. Let's get a couple more here. Nothing to really do with our remaining energy. I mean, we could, of course, just till up the land, but I don't really need to. I think I'm good just ending my turn right there. Got no wood left to really use. Um, there's no smelting to be done. Yeah, let's just end it right there. Raw fish isn't as good as baked. Bake 25 fish. Crafting requirements minus one, plus 1,000. It's just not going to happen in this one. All right, so look at all that honey. First, let's continue to stockpile our frog product. And now let's get the honey... In fact, if we had a larger body of water here, my friends, I think we'd be sitting real, real pretty. We're finally getting, like, enough bees to really sustain. Not that that was really ever a concern with such a small body of water, but imagine if this was, like, one of those big old lakes. Sometimes you get that on, on the swamp tile. Or so I've seen. So we have some more trees that came up here. Let's go ahead and chop these down. We should be able to get some more hives with it. And I think what, what I'll do is I'm undoubtedly going to have a, a stockpile of, of honey, right? Like, I will. I think honey alone will be enough to kind of take us over the top, for sure. Given the volume of honey that we should have. I'm not really going to need it to restore my energy any further. So maybe what we can do is just kind of take a look at it. See how we look after we sell the frog product and then 
see if the honey's even needed to really take us over the top. We'll see. Let's get some more hives, though. You know, just another day in the life of a bee and frog keeper, I suppose. And let's get them built. Alright, perfect. Looking good. We're going to have time for some more tree seeds. I don't believe so. So let's actually decommission this. And just keep adding hives. I suppose we can use some more of this honey. And chop these stumps down though. Looks like we're going to have a few more trees coming up next turn. Alright, looking good. 96 wood. Let's go ahead and just build a bunch more hives. <laughs> I mean, wh why not? Why not? I don't know. So, 233, 226, just a few more days. It doesn't feel like we're really going to get there. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I think we'll definitely get there with the honey. In fact, had we gone with a bee riot, right? We'd even get more honey. Like, that's pretty crazy. I didn't want to go with bee riot because I needed the effect of the hive to help us grow our trees faster. Because as you see, we're running out of wood, right? If we didn't have this tree farm, we'd be in big trouble. So it's a good thing we have the tree farm, of course. It's certainly necessary. And you guessed it. Let's add some more hives. I wish... I wish it was adding more uh, fish traps. Or frog traps, I should say. But that is not the reality of the situation here, my friends. Alright, the energy's gone. Let's see. We're sitting at 290, 283. And it is stock market day. So this is the day to sell, sell, sell. So let's see. Let's start with a few of the more menial things. Poison, I mean, that'll be a nice little three grand bonus. Right, beetle... Rat fur, rat tail. It's all this random stuff that we kind of stumbled into. Goldfish. We actually had a nice little uh, stockpile of this fruit here. Orange and apple. But it's not moving the needle here at all, my friends. So we actually might need the honey out of necessity. But I'm curious to see how our stacks of frog material is going to treat us. So tree seeds. Yep, don't have time to grow. Grass. think you could maybe make the case to hang on to the wood let's see we have 34 units of wood let's build a few more of these bad boys my goodness game all right there we go Sell the wood. Alright, so we have the bees. And let's just see. Let's get you a few more bees in each one. You should be fine. But let's do it. Let's sell the bees for $5. That's 1100 And now we have the exciting, right? And of course, the word exciting is sort of being hyperbolic. Like, just ridiculously understated. But we have the frog leg here, my friends. So let's sell it. That's $11,000. Okay, okay. So not, not bad. Not bad. We have the frog skin. That's another $11,000. Okay. So I'm going to keep the honey on hand. I'm not going to sell it. We will simply just roll the dice. If I need to sell it to get over the hump, whatever. I'll sell it to get over the hump. But we do have one more last harvest of frog material I am oh so curious to see if it gets us over the top for next turn. We're going to find out here, my friends. So let's end our turn there. 
Let's get the frog materials. 66, sell them for 26, and 48, sell them for 30. Doesn't feel like it's going to quite be enough, does it? Oh, man, just like two grand, 2,700 off. Tough stuff right there. In fact, if we got just a bit better of a sell price, it might have been all right. But that's all right. We do have the honey to bail us out. It's actually been kind of low-key bailing us out all game, giving us just a full energy bar again. Plus 146 bees. I think with the larger pond, you easily win this with mainly frog pieces, right? Let's go ahead and sell the honey on a high note. Get us over the top. So the question, can you win with frogs? I think the answer is a resounding yes. Yes, you can. Um, I think we got gypped with, like I said, a small pond here. But I think you see what a four, five, six week kind of marathon run of this build. I think you see what it looks like, right? Bunch of bees get your entire water populated with these frog traps. Get the bug totems in place. And then just, I mean, once we have the ability to expand, right? Just think about it that way. That's kind of where my mind goes with this. Obviously, what if we had bigger water and then what if we were able to expand more? I mean, you're probably not going to find too much water in the desert, but what if Candyland is actually Water World for Mario 3 and you have like an entire lake? Who knows? But I think this absolutely does win if you're able to just maximize more every turn. I mean, we had a giant surplus of bees, right? Giant surplus of bees. And obviously, some of the wood that we would use to build our hives went toward building the frog traps, but I mean, ultimately, just a little more square footage gets us there, for sure. I'm confident in saying that, at least through the demo version. I have no clue what the full release is going to entail. I don't know. So let's go ahead and end our turn there, my friends. And we're going to be deemed a winner here. I'd say winner with a small asterisk that we've already kind of detailed, but I also feel like you know, the RNG worked against us just a little bit in this one. But what can you do? What can you do? So I think this is a fitting place to wrap up the video here, my friends. But a few closing comments. Um, first off, thank you so much for viewing the video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this run, right? If you enjoyed this playthrough, if you enjoyed this game, please give the video a like and also become a subscriber to the channel. We're playing all kinds of games here, my friends. But, you know, AFR Rebirth. Definitely one of the games we're featuring. The members of this community really like this game. And if you do too, you can expect to find this game regularly right here on the channel. So become a subscriber. Join up. I'll be giving you regular content. I'm already thinking about the next fun run we're going to do. I definitely want to do a jam run, right? Um, I think that'd be fun. Get a little uh, sugar production operation going on, right? So I think that would be fun. Oh, what else? I mean, I, I think there's several others, but definitely have a jam on the agenda, for sure. So with that said, my friends, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.